Okay, here we are on IPD shop, and it is Cristalino and Ken Pruitt. And today we will be showing you a brief overview of the air pump that is found on the 3.2 and the 3 liter T6 engines. Um, you can see the uh, application list in the description here in the video. And again, if you like videos like this, make sure and subscribe and hit the like button below. Um, and uh, so definitely tune into our channel because we'll be coming out a lot more videos just like this. So hope you like it. All right, Ken, go ahead and let them know what we're working on today. So this uh, 2010 is a T2 motor, 6304 T2. Although there's really no variation between this and the T4, so they're, they're really all the same in terms of this stuff. Um, all I've had to do to remove to get to this point is the air box and the disconnect the air tube here and remove the battery and most of the front of the battery box. And it gets us right to the back of this pump. It's interesting to me because we hadn't seen this problem before on cars that we had, but when we bought this car last week, we discovered that it had this issue and I went looking and I discovered it's very common. This is the vacuum pump here. It runs off the accessory drive unit on the back of the engine. It's actually fairly simple to get to when you get this stuff out of the way. And the O-rings and the valve in it fail frequently and it drips oil all over. The oil combined with all the, the dust from the belt makes a real mess on the back of the engine. So we're here to fix this today. All right, thanks, Ken, for the quick overview. So for anybody out there that's got these cars um, that's experiencing a uh, little bit of oil leak around the air pump, you can see how dusty it is here. You can see how it's leaking oil on the back of the air pump assembly there all over the connector. And Ken, normally we found oil that leaks down over the top of the transmission and it actually went everywhere down there. When we went to look at this car originally, we actually thought it was transmission fluid or something. There was so much of it down there, but it's just all dripping off this pump. So what you might think may be a huge problem um, can definitely be uh, fixed by doing this little rebuild kit that we have here for the uh, air pump assembly. And then we'll go into other factors as well on what this motor looks like for PCV and things like that that contribute to possibly leaking oil out of uh, unlikely areas over here as we're diving into the air pump assembly. So we'll move on, here we go. And again, this is a quick overview. It's not step-by-step -step instructions. It's just showing you what it's gonna look like to take all this apart and do this yourself if it's something you wanna tackle. There's only two bolts that hold this pump on the back of the accessory drive unit and this quick disconnect hose right here. These things will be full of grease and muck and difficult to get undone, but it's just a quick disconnect and the one bolt on this side and one bolt over here. Okay, comes out with just the two bolts. It was a little stuck to the cylinder head and this quick disconnect here, which was also stuck. The rebuild kit comes with new Torx screws in case you strip them getting it apart a new valve assembly, and the O-rings both for here and for between the two halves of the pump. There's these uh, five small torque screws that hold the two halves of the pump together so you can get it open. And uh, they're uh, somewhat tight. If they're, <laughs> there is certainly a danger of rounding them out when you're doing this kind of work, especially when it's all greasy, but the kit comes with a new set of screws. Okay, so you can see there's almost nothing to this pump. It literally is just a sweeper thing that rotates through. It's a very, very simple pump. It is full of oil, so they never wear out. All that fails is the O-ring here between the cover and the body and the O-ring on the back, which is where this one was leaking. So leaking between the accessory drive unit and where this attaches. And that's where all the mess was coming from. And also it was leaking around in here. Okay, the seal between the two halves, it's not necessarily really an O-ring, it's a square ring with lips on it, which tells you they anticipated having leaky issues here. Kit comes with a new one, which can go in there. The seal that goes on the back where it fits into the ADU is actually just an O-ring. Okay, new seal in, reassembling with the new included screws. Seal, the O-ring that goes between the accessory drive unit and the pump. And this has completely crusted over and turned into hard plastic. And that is where our leak was coming from. And so we're just going to replace with a new one, which is nice and soft and should actually seal. just pop them and pry 
and this comes out and you'll see also that the seal here on the valve is just done and we were getting a huge amount of leakage there the new valve comes with a new seal on it which fits much tighter <laughs> parts we replaced. Um, the main seal between the two halves of the body is actually still pretty good. You can see it was a green, good green Viton seal and it has good long lifespan to it. But the seal that was behind the pump is just garbage. You could just tear this in half now. It's so plastic. And the seal on the valve was completely flattened out and wasn't sealing at all anymore. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to stick this in the parts bath and clean it up a little bit because this is disgusting. Um, <laughs> that's a blooper reel. So that's about all there is to it. I'm going to stick this in the parts bath and clean it up because it's just pretty disgusting right now. It's up to your own discretion how much time you want to spend cleaning up the mess that's under your hood that the, the valve made before you replaced it. Um, and just reinstall as a reversal of the removal.